What is up guys, welcome back to Robert Ellis Photography and today I'm going to show you how to take an image like this and turn it into an awesome black and white image uh, without even, uh, in a little less than five minutes. So, first thing we've got to do, real quick, let's change it to black and white. Alright, so we've got to identify what areas are really going to make this image pop, so to say. Um, the first thing we need to do is set our temperature and make sure that we've got it right. And we want to get as much contrast here as we humanly can. Uh, there we go. Okay, now ramp the contrast first things first. Uh, highlights. I always like to crush my highlights so I can bring out a little bit more in that sky. Uh, we can also spot remove these birds because nobody likes birds. Boom, there we go. Shadows. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna just raise them a little tiny bit just to bring out a little bit more detail. Then we set our white point. How do we do that? We hold Alt uh, and set it. Same with the black point. I like to push my black point a little bit further so I bring out a little bit more juicy detail. And look at that. That's already the difference. Boom. We can see that. Clarity. Let's get some clarity happening here. Some good clarity action. Uh, about 60. Yep, that looks a little bit good. I'm gonna have to go in and just readjust our shadows a little bit because the clarity has sort of taken them away a little tiny bit there. All right, now orange. Do, 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 do. Nope, not doing anything. Yellow. Is that gonna? Ooh, there we go. All right, cool. There's some dynamics for you. Some blue. That's gonna happen in the sky, I think. Magenta. Nothing happening. This one here. Nothing happening. What about red? Nope, red again. So the big one here is obviously the. Uh, the or the yellow, uh, just to bring a little bit more detail uh, hanging out around uh, in certain places. We're at a minute 44, all right. So now sharpening, no, I'm not going to add any sharpening because I don't think we need it. Didn't need noise reduction either because I only shot this at ISO 200 and A7, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, highlight priority, vignette, negative five, always good. All right, now here's where the magic happens. So what we do is we take a gradient filter and drop that in down about there. Take the exposure, take it down a little tiny bit just there, about negative, mm, I want to go negative 0.2, uh, ramp some contrast into that sky up there, and of course, my favorite tool, clarity tool. Uh, drop the shadows a little tiny bit, and maybe ramp up the highlights just to give it a little bit of a glow. Then the other thing we want to do is we change now to a brush, give it a good smattering of clarity, but not everywhere. You want to give it enough clarity on certain bits so that it draws the eye to certain places. So you'll notice that I sort of skipped this section here, whoops, this section here, because it doesn't really take or add anything to the image at all. So we'll just paint on some extra clarity here. Let's just fiddle with the clarity slider a little tiny bit there. Ramp the shadows against once more. Okay, cool. And there we go. So let's just have a look and uh, see um, what that looks like uh, before. Here's our before image, black and white. And here is our after image, black and white. Really dynamic. Not a lot of noise. Uh, I was shot with a 15mm um, Voigtlander, so of course it's going to look really stretched out and a bit strange there, but I guarantee you it is level, it's just this little section here that looks a bit weird. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Stave here from Rob Ellis Photography, and keep photographing.